Welcome to another episode of Cyber Secrets. In this episode, we're going to be talking about the USB rubber ducky and how it can be used for anti-forensics. The first thing you have to do is get a rubber ducky. You can either buy one or build one yourself. There are actually a lot of schematics out on the internet and it's great for pen testing because it acts just like a keyboard. You will need an encoder and you'll need your script. As you can see, the scripting language is relatively simple. Right now, in the first one, doing a PowerShell to download an object and do a string to the Internet Explorer to open up a web page, and then adding a registry key using the regAd command. That allows you to fake some of the registration keys. I've also added a personal touch by changing the desktop wallpaper. This will definitely show them that I was here. So copy the entire code, go to iDucky.com, paste it in, and then as soon as you hit quack, it's going to allow you to save this file as an inject.bin. You're going to want to save the inject.bin onto the USB Rub Ducky's micro SD card. Once it's saved, you take the card out, you put it into the USB Rubber Ducky, and then you plug it into the computer. As you see on the screen, I'm going to type in what it's going to start doing it. As soon as I'm done typing, we're going to see the screen flicker. So at this point, I'm inserting the USB Rubber Ducky right about now. At this point, you just step back and watch the fireworks. As you can see, it's now trying to download a couple items with PowerShell, attempt PDF, and attempt GPG. Now it's going to a website. Now it's adding some fake registry files or registry keys. These are what computer forensic analysts will look for when looking at a internet history search. Adding one more. At this point, it's doing a typed path, which is where I'm at right now. It cleared everything that I just added, added a couple more. Now it's setting up that PDF to boot up every time the computer boots up. So when I log back in, that PDF is going to pop up, the one that you see right on the screen right here. Now just imagine if this was malware or if somebody really wanted to get back at somebody. Now think of it this way. The system was logged in with a specific user. All of that traffic, all of the things the rubber ducky did, did it under the rights of that specific user, even the network traffic. And that is how easy it is to frame somebody. Now for the breakdown. Can you prevent this? Yes, you can. If you block all USB devices, you can. With the majority of software out there, no. Is there residual evidence? Depending on how the USB is set up, there can be. By default, there is a USB HIDS driver left behind. But if they change the firmware, no. Does it work on a Mac? Yes, it does. Works on Mac, Linux, Windows, Android, you name it. It's just acting as a keyboard. Does this make traditional forensics useless? No, not at all. Knowledge is power. Just understanding that nothing is 100% reliable and you'll be a better forensic investigator. The Cyber Secrets web series covers computer forensics, hacking, and everything in between.